Hey guys, in this tutorial I want to show you how you can create advanced interface orbs like this one. Um, you can use them on backgrounds, wallpapers, logos, whatever you want. Um, just, just start with the ellipse tool. Select color black or dark gray, um, I will use black. Press shift and make a circle like this one. Raster size this layer. Um, press control and click on this picture before the layer. Go to select, modify, contract, and 35. I think no more. Uh, go to contract again. And now this is your zero point. So if you type in 35 again, it will go 35 pixels again more to the middle. So just 10 that it's more okay and select modify contract again and five yeah so um maybe a cut and delete it so you have this circle um go to planning options battle and ambas deep to 300 and the size to 50 um, don't yeah add a contour um, this one yeah use one you like Look, this one looks great too I will use this one. This looks more realistic. Um, press OK. Um, create a new layer. Now we will add this to things. Um, use a pen tool. Um, I will make a tutorial how to use the pen to write um, in a few days or in the next time. Um, here, just use it and make it roundness. Press Alt and click on this point. Um, make it odd and make the next roundness. Press Alt again and click on this point. Close the path and choose the color you want. I will use orange because orange is, is my favorite color. Fill path. Um, now you have that. Delete the path. Double click on this layer to open the blending options. Go to inner shadow, uh, distance 5, choke 20, and size 7. Uh, now go to Auto Glow and use the same color you are using in here. Um, press OK. Make the size a little bit bigger. Here. Then duplicate the layer. You can make that uh, with Ctrl J or just drag and drop it onto the uh, symbol for a new layer and it's copied. Press C to uh, control and T. Um, then you can transform it. You can transform it with that. Or just press right click and flip horizontal. Apply. And I'll add a guide first. Move it to this side. So. Um, you can duplicate them both and put them onto the top and onto the bottom. I only want to add them on the left and on the right. So now um, I will add this metal look here. Um, open the texture. Um, if you don't have. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
here. Where is it? Here. Um, this texture is really nice. Um, if you don't have this texture, search in Google. Um, you will find tons of uh, textures. Just type in metal texture. Um, or wait till I have uh, reached my 2K. Uh, when I have 2K ups, I will release a big JFX pack. There will be in uh, textures as well. And here, stop me and you will get the textures. So, uh, put it one layer over your circle and create clipping mask. So this will add a really realistic uh, look on it. You can transform it and turn it on here. I will let it like this. Um, yeah. We will add now this um, scratch or how you want to name it. Um, it gives the circle a more realistic look. Make a new layer, use the pen tool and uh, make one point here, one point in the middle and then go out and go to the brush tool, select the hard brush, size down 2, um, go to the pen tool again, select color black right click stroke path um, select brush uh, no simulate pressure just press ok um, delete the path and now double click um, drop shadow uh, the blend mode to normal um, color white speed up size to 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 one and the speed to eighty. Whoa! whoa. Um, just added the opacity of it. Uh, make it down to thirty. Or a speed to seventy. It's enough. Um, duplicate the layer. Mm, what's wrong? Use the normal tool so you can move it and I don't like it. Use make the speed to fifty or to to forty same on this two, fifty, and now uh, duplicate them both you can duplicate them when you press ctrl and j or just drag and drop them and put it onto the symbol symbol for a new layer um, wait. transform right click flip horizontal you can transform them too if you go to edit transform flip horizontal it's the same so I wanna add a guide that is on the same position on the right side too oh, on the left side sorry press enter that it applies um, duplicate all four we'll add a guide to two duplicate them all um, transform them again flip vertical press enter and move it down to this one. Oh, I know now what I forgot God. Um, drop shadow and the distance down to 2 here that's it just copy layer style select them all and pass layer style so it's smaller and more realistic so um, here now we want to create this inner circle um, go to background and make a new layer 
use the ellipse tool again and make a circle whoa 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 circle uh, bigger than the inner circle use orange I'll make it a little bit lighter so, um, make the circle bigger than the inner circle but smaller than the outer circle so like that here that's perfect um, raster size this layer double click at inner shadow um, distance zero choke um, size 250 and a choke to 30 um, now we want to add this shine so make a new layer use the elliptical tool um, make a ellipse mm, that it's like a moon in here um, here should be a moon right click select inverse um, now use gradient tool select color white from white to transparent and drag more yeah like that so deselect with control D or just with go to the elliptical tool and press in and it's deselected too um, now put down the opacity of it to 60 percent and now I wanna add this shiny this glossy uh, thing here make a new layer select brush tool soft brush make it bigger to between 300 and 400 uh, 350 and 400 I'll use 370 and now add a brush here now go onto the blend mode and make soft light here now you have a glossy here and here you can add one here too it's more shiny from this side um, that's it you can use this uh, advanced orb um, on backgrounds or on, on wallpapers whatever you want um, now you can merge all layers go to adjustments use iteration and then you can change the color of it so you can make it one time and you can use it in every color you want um, then save as um, and PNG and you have this orb and you that was my tutorial um, I'm new in interface design so this is a really simple tutorial interface interface design can be really hard and I want to make more tutorials uh, soon um, but I can't do all because I don't know all in interface and if you want to see another tutorial from interface or from whatever you want just leave a comment or personal message me um, here that was the tutorial please rate comment and subscribe thanks and bye